about some sports. Yes, obviously uh, a big week this week for some of you who are not really in tune and just want to sit here and listen to me ramble about randomly anything. We're talking sports because this week is the opening week of NFL football. This Sunday is the first Sunday of NFL football. Yes, yes, give it a nice, nice, nice big old round of applause. Probably won't be picking up a lot more NFL content after this. Maybe I will if you guys really like. And by like, I mean if you like it, like it. But if you also like it physically by click, 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 click that like button, I'll do more NFL content for you guys. And maybe even comment down below some other things you guys want me to do. Any other uh, ASMR, you know, ideas, whether it's traditional, um, sports related, gaming related. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. I'm starting to really run out of ideas and I would love to know what you guys are looking for. So with that being said, let's talk about this first week, this first NFL Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. Okay, the first game on Sunday, which maybe you're watching this on Sunday or a different day than you know these outcomes. We have the 49ers going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. Let's see for the who will win the game for the money line. Right now the bets are on 51% for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now these obviously aren't like a big tell on thinking on who's going to win. It's just obviously if a lot of people think the Pittsburgh Steelers could upset the 49ers, they're obviously going to pick the Pittsburgh Steelers. And obviously with this being already a 50-50 money line, it seems like a lot of people might be picking a little bit of upset for the 49ers in the Pittsburgh Steelers game with Pittsburgh uh, getting the majority of the money line split there, which is kind of interesting. Um, I won't buy it. I still am going to be picking the 49ers, even though I think Kittle will be out this game, which doesn't seem like a great thing for them, for the 49ers. It's, they definitely need as much help as they can possibly get. As a team that's always riddled with injuries, obviously last year infamously being known as a team without a quarterback. Obviously, Purdy did get a pretty good job done out there, and looking like now he is going to be the main guy after they're trading away their next star people who is supposed to be the next big thing. Trading them away to the Dallas Cowboys. Purdy's their guy. I'm picking the Fortnite to win this game. An early morning game that I'm actually going to be kind of excited about is going to be the Bengals and the Browns. This is going to be in Cleveland. Kind of making this one quick though. Picking the Bengals to win out on this game, but this could honestly be maybe the best of the early morning matchup. This is going to be 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So in the East Coast, this is around what, 1 o'clock? About 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. But for me, it's 10 o'clock in the morning kind of early, but maybe I'll stick around and watch it. It's actually a pretty close game for a lot of the betting odds. The money line right now is actually the Cleveland Browns winning this game by 58% of the votes there, but people still have for the spread the Cincinnati Bengals winning by two points or more, which that I would probably say is a better bet and a telltale on how people really think about this game. Next game after that, we have the Buccaneers, the Buccaneers, the Tampa, Tampa, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings are heavily, heavily, heavily favored in this game. Not only do we just talk about the Minnesota Vikings possibly having the best stadium in all of NFL football in one of my last previous videos talking about NFL stadiums, they also have a pretty solid team. Now, are they, you know, Super Bowl title contenders? Eh of the cusp of that. Obviously, have the, they have the best wide receiver in the NFL. That's a good start, but yeah, uh, this I think is going to be maybe a blowout style game with uh, all the bets leaning towards the, the Vikings, even for the money line. 75% of the bets are going straight to the Minnesota Vikings in this game. I'll also take this one as well for Minnesota. We have the uh, Arizona Cardinals. I almost, just, I almost called them the Phoenix Cardinals, which where, where do the Cardinals even play? I don't even remember. Anyways, we have the uh, Arizona Cardinals going up against the Washington Commanders. And the Commanders are actually a pretty solid favorite in this game as well. Not really too sure who's out for the Cardinals. As I say here that uh, offensive lineman, Beecham, 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 is out for the Cardinals. Um, I... See, um, uh, oh my god, a pretty heavy bet uh, for the Washington Commanders. I think they are actually the most, they are the most favored team we have talked about so far. Okay, Washington, go you guys. We all 
also talked about them in one of our recent videos and talking about them just not being great. And also, if I also remember that FedEx field for the Washington Commanders is uh, at least voted as the worst NFL stadium in all of the NFL. So that's kind of funny that we're talking about them now and being a pretty ever favorite against the Arizona Cardinals, who I know they're going to be really bad this year. We had the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Indianapolis Colts, which again, for a video I just did, I did a, uh, a YouTube shorts, a YouTube shorts talking about the teams with the worst fan bases. And according to a lot of votes from NFL fans and fan bases, the Indianapolis Colts are the least hated. They're the least hated NFL fan base out there. So, shout out to all you Colts fans, but they're definitely going to be losing to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the Jaguars are definitely another sort of sneaky team that you, it wouldn't surprise me if they bottomed out and just didn't make it happen because they're still too young and inexperienced. Or they play off of the run and the success they had last season losing to the, the Super Bowl. Uh, to, well, the soon to be Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs in the playoffs and carrying that to do this new season with Trevor Lawrence having another year under his belt. I'm kind of intrigued about this team. This team could be sneaky. I'm not saying they're going to do anything crazy, but I think this team might be in another little playoff hunt. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. Panthers going up against the Atlanta, 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 Atlanta Falcons the Falcons actually being the favorites against this game. Uh, this is a game I'm definitely not going to be watching. <laughs> this is a, um, a mid-off, as some would say. Probably, probably a mid-off, to be completely honest. Um, we have the Falcons being the favorites in um, pretty much all of the betting odds, with them also having the home field advantage. I'm not even sure. Didn't the Atlanta Falcons draft a running back in their draft class? And a lot of people kind of freaked out about that. Yeah, I'm not too sure how I really feel about it either, but hopefully they make a good impact, and, uh, I don't know. All I, the only thing I know that's happening in Carolina is I think they're getting, like, a new color of blue on their jerseys this year. That's all I can really remember, but, obviously, bad team, good young talent, always fun to watch. We have the Texans, the Texans, the Houston Texans, and if you want to talk about a favorite, they're going up against the more Ravens in their first game at 10 a.m. on Sunday as well. Boy, oh boy, is that going to be a blowout. And this is now the biggest, 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 biggest favorites that we have seen so far tonight with the Baltimore Ravens looking heavy, heavy, heavy favorites. Um, having 94% um, of the bets <laughs> that they are going to win this game. Um, the spread, though, is kind of interesting because the spread is will Baltimore win by 10 or more points. Some of the other games we saw were 2 or more, 4 or more, even 7 or more. This is a touchdown in a field goal. Will he, mean, will he win by more, or by 10 or more? I, oh man. You know what, I wouldn't bet that. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty large number, but, you know, Bart could make some good money off of that. I have no idea, but Houston Texans are... That's a tough team to root for, let me tell you, man. They have not had anything with the going for them way since probably J.J. Watt was on that team. We have the Tennessee Titans going up against the New Orleans Saints with a pretty, looks like, a close match. I mean, I do think this would be a pretty close matchup. Um, who would I take in this game? I haven't been taking a lot of upsets. You know what? I think this will be an upset game. I'll take the Tennessee Titans winning in this game. Any other upsets I could really see happening would be probably the Browns and the Bengals. Now, maybe my next favorite matchup that I'm going to be keying in on very, very much is going to be the Miami Dolphins going up against the, I almost said San Diego, the Los Angeles, Los Angeles, the LA Chargers. Ooh. This game is going to be in LA, SoFi Stadium, a stadium I really cannot wait to do, maybe hopefully sometime see again in person. This is probably a uh, bing, a coin flip, bing, 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 a toss up, a toss up, a toss up of a matchup. Oh man, oh man. That's tough. Uh, again, a team I've seen a lot uh, in different places being a mid tier team around ranked 15th in the entire NFL, ranked all the way up to a top 10, maybe even more than a top 10 team. 
as you already, and also 65% of the bets on the spread by Will Miami avoid losing by three or more. But the Dolphins do look pretty good, and you know what? Even though Chargers do have home free advantage, I'm picking the upset as well, picking the Dolphins. We have the Eagles going up against the New England Patriots now a handful of years ago. This could have been a very fun matchup, but I'm going to be taking the Eagles in this one, and it might even be a slaughter. I think the Eagles this year are going to be the most... They, they have, at least to me, the potential to be, like, maybe the top, like, record team in the NFL. And I don't want to call them the best team in the NFL, but they're going to be probably the team with the best record when it's all said and done. I think they're definitely going to have their eyes locked in on trying their best to be as dominant and having a dominant role into the postseason, going all the way to maybe a potential Super Bowl run. We're going to have to see Philadelphia coming in with actually zero players on their injury list and knock on wood for that but the new england pages can have a, have a long list that's that's kind of bad scary i will say the eagles this is going to be in my opinion a pretty pretty good one for them <laughs> we have the green bay packers going up against the chicago bears and wow this is actually being predicted as a pretty close matchup the bears are slight favors but probably only because they have home field advantage now of course aaron Rodgers not there anymore we have the new quarterback love 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 there now who looks good i think he's gonna be obviously a little bit of a project guy and they obviously still have some beaches there um, beaches some pieces 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 there from the aaron Rodgers era that can really make this team interesting i'm not gonna call them a wild card team just yet but they can maybe do something we'll have to see obviously how good the quarterback does obviously without being aaron Rodgers, but justin field has been a quarterback i've definitely had liked watching they just needed to obviously work around him a little bit better which i think they have done just a tad bit i'm also going to be picking the chicago bears to win in this one you have the raiders going up against the denver broncos here oh man denver in vegas that's tough we have the uh the broncos actually has the favorites they are also the home team as well which obviously the the mile high city maybe giving a little bit of home field advantage when it comes to that but oh man vegas actually the betting odds are saying vegas and even before seeing that i was actually gonna say why do i have a feeling that vegas is gonna win this game i don't know why and then i saw the betting odds and yeah, a lot of other uh, a lot of other people out there are also betting that Vegas will not only win the game but will avoid losing by four points or more. So it's either going to be a close game or a Vegas win. Maybe in a year under uh, Russell Wilson plus a new head coach there in Denver could maybe do something different. I think it's still going to take Denver a little bit of time to really get back to some good flow of things. And even though. Vegas is not that great of a team either. They mess up all the time as well. I'm going to go Vegas with here. A little bit of a, an upset right there. Uh, two of my other favorite teams are actually going up against each other here. Uh, to 1.25 p.m. Another one of the afternoon games with the Rams going up against the Seattle. Seattle Seahawks, yes. The home team. Uh, interesting. This game is actually going to be in Lumen Field. Field, Lumen Field. I actually looked into going to this game live. Didn't really feel like wanting to spend like 200, 250 dollars to drive, you know, six hours there and back from Portland to Seattle. Didn't really feel like it, so I decided just to just gonna leave it alone. I'll watch it at home. But I do. I don't want to say I do promise, but I will promise that I will try to go out to a NFL football game this year. It's just, again, these... <sighs> Seattle is, is a trip, especially when there's traffic. And then also, man, the tickets for NFL games are just... You're lucky if you get a ticket under $150. Like, it's it's a commitment. So, uh, but with the Rams, uh, they have no Cooper Cup, uh, which is definitely a... a pretty tough loss, at least what it says from right here. He's going to be out with a hamstring injury. Don't know how up-to-date that is. If you know any more information about any of these games, obviously leave a no, uh, let me know and everyone else know down in the comments. But no Cooper Cup and the Rams. They already suck. They did it all for that one title. And now they're kind of in a purgatory for the next God who knows. Uh, and then the final game, the final Sunday night game, the, the main event you could probably call it we have the Dallas Cowboys, who, again, in my recent TikTok, I think yesterday, as you guys 
guys are seeing this video, uh, voted by other fan bases as the most hated fan base in all of the NFL. Sorry if you're a Cowboys fan. Going up against the New York Giants, which doesn't sound that fun. Dallas Cowboys are the favorites in this game, but we are getting a little bit of an upset alert when it comes to a lot of the betting odds, when it comes to the money line and the spread. That's interesting. Um, I will be picking the Dallas Cowboys in this game. I think it will be a close game, though. I'm not saying this is going to be a bad game. I think it will be a close game. Obviously, with Dallas, you never know if you're going to get the, you know, Super Bowl contending Dallas Cowboy team versus the kind of usual Dallas Cowboy team where they're pretty mid <laughs> and you don't know what they're going to get. And the New York Giants actually looked pretty okay last year. I think they made the playoffs last year. If I can remember, at least I think they made the wild card game, if I can remember. Not too shabby for a team that's still looking for a direction to go in. But I think I am still going to be picking Dallas, even though do not be, do not be surprised. Do not be surprised. Uh, and then I guess we can talk about Monday's game since I don't think I'm going to be talking about it. I am planning on doing another uh, one hour long sports whisper ramble ASMR video. Sometime next week, I'm going to be talking, obviously, some more NFL there, but definitely going to be talking about some NBA stuff, going to be talking about the World Cup, the FIBA World Cup, and how that all went down, and probably some more uh, soccer, football. Actually, it is football. That's actual football. This is football. It's NFL football. So watch out for that video. But we'll talk about the Monday night game, which is going to be the Bills going up against the New York Jets, which is the first time we're seeing Aaron Rodgers in a new uniform there in New York. Interesting, very interesting. That is going to be a pretty fun game, actually. Uh, a lot of the betting odds are going towards Buffalo, which Buffalo are the favorites. Not by much, though. There are no injury reports at this time, so I'll knock on wood for hopefully a good, healthy game. Uh, the Buffalo Bills and the Jets. You know what? I haven't picked that many upsets in this in this little uh, this little video, but you know what? I think the magic of Aaron Rodgers being in a new team in this stadium, its first game, sort of uh, having a legend as a new starting quarterback, sort of making that big leap in their good defense. I'm going to pick the Jets to win this game. Barely. Barely, barely. I don't even kind of want to say that because I also think the Bills are a super good team, and I do still think they are a, a Super Bowl contender. I've seen many people say that they slipping and sliding they've been kind of the same team every single year which i do agree but i mean that same team every year is a super bowl contender especially when you have josh allen but i kind of want to pick the spicy pick of an upset so yeah that's that's the, the full sunday slash monday night lineup for the first week of the nfl season i am super excited so I think the, the upset alerts I'll say would be maybe the Browns against the Bengals. Uh, I mean, of course, like the Saints and Tennessee Titan game is kind of a toss-up, uh, but the, the Dolphins and the Chargers game also kind of a toss-up. Anything else? Wow, I didn't, I didn't pick that many upset games, to be, to be honest. Um, you know what, there, there, there are probably going to be a lot of them because, of course, when it comes to NFL football, like I stated already, it takes a little bit of time to get some rust off of these good teams, and who knows if some of these younger teams that maybe just have more hustle and bustle in them, not really looking for the long game like some of these playoff and Super Bowl contending teams are looking for, might upset some teams. I'm really excited to see, but uh, yeah, I think my game that night will be the, the Dolphins and Chargers game. That's going to be the game I'm going to be most excited for, that's for sure, so let me know down in the comments a game that you're excited for, or if you're watching this in the future, the future, the future, the future, let me know what the best game was, and I'll comment under it, see if I agree or other people do. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for me, talking some NFL football. Sorry if you're not the, the biggest fan of the NFL. Um, tomorrow, I actually have a very fun video, and of course, Monday, Monday, Monday night, we have our Monday, Monday, Monday night live stream here on the channel so if you want to talk anything else if you want to talk about movies or music or upcoming video ideas or even just listen just to some random asmr triggers i'm live every monday 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 so keep that in mind make sure you like the video if you do like the video comment down below any other video ideas that you have i love you i love you i love you
love you, love you. And I'll see you again in another video. Very, 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 very soon.